This is your host, Sapil Bhartia, and welcome to TFR Newsroom. BMC recently acquired Stream Viewer, and to talk about this acquisition, we have with us once again Margaret Lee, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Digital Services and Operation Management at BMC. Margaret, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Swap. Glad to be here. What does Stream Viewer do, and why was BMC interested in them? Streamweaver is a company that over the last nine to 10 years have been specializing gathering variety of data for IT operations management. They have built uh, dozens of adapters to gather data from most popular uh, IT operations data sources. Uh, uh, for example, connectors to Splunk, to Dynatrace, to other cloud vendors, to SolarWinds. They really are very adept at gathering a lot of operational data for uh, IT management teams. Uh, so what was their core strength or offering that you saw can you know, bring a lot of value to BMC? As we spoke last time, BMC is going through a transformation and uh, on portfolio side, we're doubling down on AI ops. We believe that in the future with a large volume of data uh, coming into IT operations teams, it is critical to use AI to find probable root cause analysis to manage risk and, and prevent outages. So with that strategy, it is critical that we gather as much data from customers' complex topology as possible, right? At the end of the day, your root cause analysis is driven by how much information and data you have of the customer's environment. So in that context of, uh, uh, investing in, in AI ops and trying to gather data. Streamweaver, when we realized exactly what they do and how good they are at it, perfectly aligns with our strategy. They're the, um, they're the engine that's gonna help us drive to collect high volume and high variety and real time data to align with our AI ops strategy. How are you planning to integrate those into BMC or are you planning to keep that as independent unit within BMC and should the existing customers, users of SteamViewer be worried about anything? Foremost, we've done a lot of detailed technical due diligence between both teams and it turns out it's actually quite in easy to integrate Streamweaver's technology into the BMC's Helix platform. So we are very much taking a platform approach uh, on Helix. So when we acquire companies like uh, Streamweaver that has an excellent uh, uh, set of technologies that can be very easily integrated in our Helix platform, that's the way we are gonna go to market. So that means for existing Helix customer, right? They will just very quickly see, uh, expand the ability to collect data and thereby improve their uh, analysis using our AI ops. For Streamweaver's customer, like, of course, they're not using Streamweaver standalone. That means they're probably today already collecting data, uh, working with some monitoring, some AI ops solutions. So we will definitely offer to those customer uh, an alternative and then welcome into the Helix platform. So we are not operating uh, going to operate uh, Streamweaver as a separate business unit or team. They will be very tightly integrated, incorporated into the Helix platform and the Helix team. You of course cannot talk about the next acquisition for sure. But if I ask, you know, if we look at your trajectory, the, the the transformation, what are the areas where BMC will be focusing on, where we can see more movement, growth, and transformation? Right. So the areas we're investing in is four areas within Helix. First is the platform, and uh, Streamweaver acquisition is actually a a uh, example of that. It, expand our platform's capability to collect data, to do analysis, to common services, uh, that's one. Second is we're investing significantly in the service management space to introduce AI capabilities uh, and high-end uh, uh, DevOps capabilities into service management. Thirdly, like I already mentioned, is the AI ops to, to gather data and do analysis uh, for IT operations teams. And the last one is a new one that we're uh, investing in is called service ops. So that is a reflection that for many customers, whether it's end users uh, creating tickets, reflecting a 
website or services slowing down or inaccessible, that's just a one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is really from IT operations perspective, looking at servers, containers, deployment architectures, what is trending from green to yellow to red. So those two are two sides of single coin. And BMC is uniquely positioned to get, we have the data around uh, outage tickets, change tickets, problem tickets. We have the data around logs, metrics, and um, uh, uh, health of the system on the back end. And we are looking at this as a swarming, uh, as a service ops opportunity to support situations like incident swarming, uh, outage RCA, and also risk analysis prevention. So Helix platform, AI for service management, AI ops and service ops are the major areas that we're investing in. In that context, we are definitely looking at uh, a number of cost, uh, partners and potential uh, acquisition that can align with our strategy. Uh, one thing that you mentioned, you know, health of system or risk management, uh, uh, especially when we do look at a lot of cloud native workloads or you know any mission critical workload, uh, we are also seeing increase in attacks, whether it's ransomware or even so. The, there is an increased focus on security as well, but security is. Is 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 uh, is not one thing. There are so many things you have to monitor, you have to log, and then you have to take action about it. So, uh, where does security fit into either Helix platform or BMC's larger strategy to help, as you mentioned, these big clients and customers? Right, BMC absolutely has uh, security as one of our main pillars. Uh, if for anybody who is familiar with our ADE strategy, one of the uh, key dimensions of the five dimension AD strategy is cybersecurity. So from a, a Helix perspective, right? So we're looking at logs, we're looking at uh, a server return metrics to detect anomalies, right? And those anom anomalies could be operational, but those anom anomalies could also be access. And uh, uh, looking at the patterns as uh, users log into systems, if there's an anomaly that aligns with the security dimension, we'll be able to build uh, alarms and uh, prevention items for customers to be aware of as early as possible. Uh, in addition to anomaly, one more uh, factor that plays a very big role in vulnerability or you know risk is also human factor, which is misconfigurations, you know, or unnecessary access. Uh, how what is Helix doing to kind of? <laughs> People proof itself. So this is where uh, one of our strategy under the Helix platform, there is a, a whole set of capability under intelligent automation. You're exactly right. Sometimes the vulnerabilities are introduced inadvertently uh, because a lot of the too much manual tasks, right? So when you're, for example, in an environment that is running low on resources, you want to add additional capacity, whether it's on-premise servers or in cloud uh, container-based nodes, all of those type of uh, tasks need to be automated, right? And need to be uh, logged and need to be uh, uh, auditable. So these are all things that uh, lend themselves to automation. So we are, uh, for example, in the most recent release of the Helix platform, we can integrate with uh, technologies such as Ansible, such as the, our uh, server automation and server orchestration tools. So that way these things can be automated and, and those actually are probably uh, safer than have a lot of human steps, manual steps. Margaret, thank you so much for taking time out from your schedule today and talk about this acquisition, also your strategy uh, for StreamViewer and also you know the transformation that BMC is going through. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. So I am excited about our next conversation. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.